Getting behind the wheel of an RUV is very similar to driving a car. You have all the same controls. However, they may be laid out a little different. So let's go inside the compass, sit in the driver's seat, and see where all the controls and switches are located. This is a great layout, very intuitive and easy to use. Starting with the center stack, all your radio and media controls are here with a very nice display screen. This is also where the passenger airbag indicator light is, along with your hazard lights. Moving down, you'll find your climate controls. Fan speed is on the left, temp control is in the middle, and vent selection is on the right. This button turns the air conditioning on and off. This button recirculates the cabin air. To the right of your HVAC is one of two 12 volt outlets. The other is located below. This is a 3.5 millimeter input jack so you can listen to a mobile device through the radio. Here you can select your gear or manually shift with these buttons on the side. Press this button to adjust your transmission if you are towing or hauling. Outlining the gauges on the dash, this switch is for the heated side view mirrors. On the other side is the switch for your traction control. Only a few gauges here on the dash. The tachometer is on the left, your speedometer is on the right. In the middle, you'll find your fuel gauge and your coolant temp. Up top is your display screen. This screen is accessed through these buttons on the steering wheel. Let's go through the menu here. You'll find your odometer, trip meters and reset, a trip timer, average miles per gallon, your outside temp, the speed your cruise control is set at, how many miles left in the tank until empty, your diesel exhaust fluid level, how many hours the engine has been running, and sitting at idle. There are also adjustments for the display in different settings, such as the temperature units. Do you want miles or kilometers? What language do you want to read the display in? You can also turn the auto locks on or off from here. Also on the steering wheel is your cruise control. The stalk on the right controls the wipers. The stalk on the left is for your directionals. Below the wheel, about knee level, is the emergency start. A little left end up, headlight and parking lights, along with your dash light adjustment. Next to that are the side view mirror controls. On the door are the lock and window controls. The rear view camera is displayed on the mirror and can be turned on and off with this button. Up above the switch to open or close the skylight. For more owner resources, visit ThorMotorCoach.com.